Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Finks Gaming. It's week 5 of season 8 of Fortnite and we're halfway through the season, halfway to road trip. So let's have a look at the challenges and let's see what we've got for this week. And I'll go through it with you guys and show you the easiest ways to do it. Some tips, tricks, different things. So let's have a look. So looking at the scoped challenges, you've got to get 200 damage with scoped weapons. So that's a scoped assault rifle, scoped pistol, sniper rifle. Things like this, and you can see it's pretty straightforward. I've been doing this with the scoped assault rifle and taking the damage off pretty quickly, so it's actually pretty easy to do. Using a scar, and some reason it's giving me credit for that one, but it's 200 damage. If you fancy using a sniper, a sniper puts out quite a bit of damage. This is only a mild shot, and it's giving me 100, which is quite good. It's very satisfying shooting the bananas. I don't know why it is. Then there's the chests. Search chests at Paradise Palms or, or Shifty Shafts. The thing is, you try and avoid Shifty Shafts if you can. There's not many chests there. Stuff doesn't seem to be spawning that well. It's better just to go down to Paradise Palms and just do some stuff there. I also recommend you do these challenges all on Team Rumble, the LTM mode with respawning and you can have plenty of goes at hitting your challenge without too many problems. In total it took me less than an hour to do these but I've combined them down in the video to um, to about nine minutes so that's not bad so you could literally within an hour you could be doing these challenges without any particular problems. The next challenge we'll have a look at is the racetrack. So we'll do a lap round the racetrack at Happy Hamlet. So you can see it there. It's not quite where the marker is, slightly offset. And I picked a baller up. There's normally a few ballers at the line, but when I went down, there's only two and they got taken, so I had to go up and take one from the expedition point. But as you go round the track, you can see that you've got these loops, these hoops, which you have to go through and they flash when you, when you go through them and complete it. You have got a raised one, which for me is a bit of a problem because I don't really like the ballers too much and half the time the buttons don't work properly on the PC. And it took me a few goes on this, but you just fire up and just try and grab onto something and as long as you just go through it slightly or just touch it, you'll, you'll be able to do it. And other than that, that's basically the hardest part of this track. I've done this in the baller just because that's what was available. But I have seen people in subsequent matches doing this on the quad crasher. I've seen them doing it on the hoverboard. So you don't have to use the ball as if you don't want to. And you go around, get to the line, and you get the pop-up for the challenge. So completed that one. Well, that's actually pretty straightforward for a hard challenge. The bouncy ball, 15 bounces. The trick is... Don't jump on top of something and throw it. Hope it'll bounce. Just get yourself into an enclosed space. I've gone into a bunker on the spawn island. But you could alternatively just build a box around yourself somewhere in match and just throw it and it'll just bounce around practically forever. So that's pretty much the easiest way of doing that. Shield challenge mushrooms. The best place for this is Lonely Lodge. I did pick a few things up by Shifty Shafts. Uh in another match but Lonely Lodge is the best place to go and get your mushrooms. There's absolutely bloody loads of them everywhere so that's no particular problem. The next step of that is get a hundred shields using the small shield potions which means you need four of them but you can only put two on at a time. So what I did with that is I put two on when I died and I put another two on but I haven't shown that bit. Third stage is to get a hundred shields using any shield potions the easiest way, realistically, is just, if you can't grab a chug jug or anything, just grab a couple of these medium-sized potions and just drink a couple of them. Job done. Then there's the challenge about the vehicle, the vent and the zip line in the same match. And you can do this practically within a few seconds. And this is like the really easiest way of doing it. This is like so easy. It's actually, it's stupid, but... This is how you do it, and this is a hard challenge. So you go down here, the expedition point by Lonely Lodge, and you see, you see all those ballers down on the ground? You want to go and jump in one of them. 
So as you land, I'm done. Jump out of it. Let's go for the zip line. So that's one of three done. Onto a zip line, that's two or three, and oh look, you've got a vent. Let's go and hit this vent, and that's the challenge completed. That's quite possibly the easiest way to do this challenge. In literally a few seconds, you can actually complete that. No messing about. And then finally, you've got to eliminate three opponents at pirate camps. You can see on the map where the pirate camps are. And I've gone round, and I've basically shot someone. They're on the outskirts didn't count because the proximity is a bit dubious. But it is hit and miss because as you can see on this one, I'm going around, similar sort of position. There you go, one shot, killed. It's giving me credit for that one, which is absolutely brilliant. So be careful with the proximities because they are a bit hit and miss. The other thing you really need to look, sort of look out for on this is your teammates. So I'm doing this on Team Rumble, simply because it's easier to respawn if you're dying. Stuff like this. Um, and your teammates go and kill them, which is a pain in the backside. But the thing about the pirate camps is, you do this, loads of people tend to go down because of a challenge. And I've decided for the last couple just to go mental. Let's just go right, grab the rocket launcher, and just blast them. It doesn't matter if you die, you still get the credit, you respawn, you come back down. So that's the two out of the three done. And you can see I've got someone there, got, got the Lux. Bye bye, you're gone, so am I, but never mind, I'm coming back. So once you've done this, you get the secret loading screen, which is obviously at the volcano, this is where the star is. But it's not on top of a volcano. Everybody's been looking at this and saying, this star is on the top of a volcano, but it's not, it's on this ledge. Further down, I'll show you exactly where it is. Not where the marker is, by the way, that was just my general guide. I'll show you now as I land, it's on the ledge right next to the lava at the top here. So as I land, because I haven't looked where this is, I just go and buy the picture. So it's not on that one, it's not on the middle one, but it's on this one here. So search that, grab your secret battle star, and you're done for the week. So there it is on the map. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go. In about eight minutes, I've showed you how to complete every single challenge, give you a few tips, hopefully stuff will help. And in reality, when I was doing this, it took me about an hour, but I was doing this on Team Rumble, and I did have a little bit of time back to go and do some other stuff. So, so until next time, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button, hit subscribe. I might do some more of these for next week if you guys like this, if you find this helpful. So hit that like, hit subscribe, hit the comments, tell me what, what you like, you know, tell me if this is good, if this is bad, just let me know. So... Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, take it easy, and happy gaming!